by Stephen Harkoven. Um, we are going to talk about basically seven chapters, which is uh, be proactive, uh, begin with the uh, end in mind, put first things first, think win-win. The fifth chapter is uh, seek first to understand than to be understood. Then the sixth is uh, synergy. Then we have also the seventh. But uh, today I'm going to concentrate more on uh, the first cha- first habit, which is be proactive. There are two types of people. We have people who are proactive and reactive. So I'll give you the dictionary meaning of uh, the proactive, which means seeing and controlling a situation rather than just responding to it after it has happened. That is the dictionary meaning of proactive. But basically, in this book, uh, he was uh, saying that proactive means that, that these are people that that are rational. They are affected by, by any external environment or any other environment. So we have then the reactive people. They respond to the stimulus. People affected by the physical environment. Those ones are reactive people. Then what is stimulus? Because I've said it in the reactive people that arouse activities or energies in someone. That is a stimulus. Then a response. Then a response is an answer. People, reactive people, do not respond to the outside environment. No, they first reason out the thing, then they respond according to what the thing is. So uh, he talks about the differences between proactive and reactive people. What are the differences? Then he says a proactive person uses the word I will. Then a reactive person uses the word if only. Then he gives another example of I, I prefer. Then a reactive person uses the word I must, I choose. That one is a reactive person. Then a proactive person uses the word I choose. Then a reactive person uses the word I can. So it talks about what affects, what circles does a proactive person concentrate on and what circles does a reactive person concentrate on. A proactive person concentrates on circles of influence. A reactive person concentrates on circles of concern. What are circles of influence? Circles of influence, it is where you have control about things. Then, circles of concerns, it's where you have no control about anything. They are just concerns. For example, you cannot control weather. So, you find a reactive person concentrating more on on how it will rain, how it will affect his businesses, how it will affect his environment. But a reactive person does not concentrate on. Uh, but a reactive person does not concentrate on concerns. He concentrates on the influence, things that he can control. For example, his workspace. What does he need to do? So that one leads to us to different types of problems. He said that there are three kinds of problems, which are direct control, indirect control, and no control. Direct control. These are problems involving only our own behaviors. They are directly controlled. We are directly involved in them. Then indirect control problems involve involving only people's behaviors. Those ones are indirect control. They affect you indirectly. Then we have no control. The no control problems, we, we do nothing about them. So the no control problems, for example, you cannot control your past. But then here, proactive people tend to con- tend to have more influence in non-controllable tend to have more influence in non-controllable problems than uh, direct control problems thank you very much uh, please subscribe and hit the no- notification button and uh, we shall do episode uh, 2 which is habit 2 next time and habit 3 until we until we finish the whole book which is uh, habit 8 thank you very much